Golden arm, because you're good at what you do. This morning I'm back in the well booth. He got me set up on a, a refresher. We're gonna be starting this power plant outage 2022 fall. So let's see what we got. Now I'm not gonna lie. All my 19 year going on 20 year career, I never took an open butt to tig the root stick it out test never like they say if you're a welder hey welding is well a little bit shaky I don't know after so many years of testing and all the videos I made you guys I mean I gotta admit this is the first time I'm a little shaky it is a structure test a little refresher because my certs are not um, expired so it's gonna be all good hey Welding is welding, right? I'll get back and let you know what happened. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so that's the root here. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Got a little shaky right there. But I had to tell myself, man, just calm down. You got it. It all kind of. Just worked itself out. Like I said, never took it before. A little bit shaky this morning. So hey, this is just the reality of it. I mean, you might feel like you're a really good welder. Whenever you do something you've never done before, man, it's, 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 it can be it can be a little nerve-wracking just because of the simple fact you've never done it before. But hey, being it, this is my first open butt, my first open butt um, plate test. Hey, that's all right. Of course, I could have done it, clean. you know, like I do my pipe. You know, like I said, this is this is it. This is the reality part of it. This is not going to be a, it's not going to be a, a, a dent test. It's just the visual, and I, I know the QC. And they know my rap. They know what it is. You know, so it's just something what they call a recall or or, or a freshen or whatever it is. You know, it is what it is. But yeah, well, like I said, it's not the perfect fruit by far. But it's gonna work. It is what it is. Sometimes when you do good work for people, they know you, they know you rap, they know what you can do, they've been on the jobs with you. And again, you might get thrown a curveball like, hey, this is what we're gonna to do today. And you're like, hold on, I've never done this before. And all they wanna just make sure, pretty much make sure you, you know, you there. You know, so it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to it take another hot pass and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick it out and that's gonna be it for this, uh, this uh, power plant so yeah 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 let me get back to it so what I was doing when I first started the test I was holding my my wire when I was doing my root pass I was holding it from this direction and then I told myself to just calm down and back feed it you know push it in from this direction as I walk the cup on that side and put a little pressure on the opposite side and just do my route. And I just had to tell myself to calm down, like I said. And it went in decently. You know, it's not bad for a first, first timer. So just had to calm down and again, just tell myself, hey man, this is, this is just welding. But hey, that's just what it is. Sometimes you don't feel like that. Again, like I stated before, you just don't feel like that when it comes to simple tests or something you didn't do in a long time. Maybe you was on a job and you was stick welder for a long period of time and you, you got away from TIG welder but you know you're a really good TIG welder but you got to get back. So as I was saying sometimes when you're on these jobs and you away from the things you usually do like basically if you're used to stick welding right or TIG welding and you TIG weld a year, year and a half and then you never really get to 60, 10, 70, 18 when you get back to 60, 10, 70, 18 uh, you, you might be a little rusty. Once you get in the groove of it, you get in the groove of it. So this is like a similar situation. I just got off a job where I haven't did a, a root pass with TIG in about three and a half months. And you know, I'm good at TIG, I'm good at stick. But when you step away from either or, when you get back to it, you realize, uh, 
kind of second guess yourself, if you will. But you gotta, that's when you gotta tell yourself you got it. Breathe, loosen up on a TIG handle. It's all good. Especially when you get up in age, you know, you're not real gun ho for it no more like you like you used to and, and things of that nature. So that's that's basically what happened this morning. But again, it's all good. We on to the stick part and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this happen for this shutdown season, this fall shutdown season 2022. But uh, you know, you know how I go. I'm gonna keep y'all posted, show you what it's like in the field. Hopefully you guys become comfortable with what you do because hey, you're golden on. And if you're not right now, if you don't think you are right now, you will be because you're good at what you do. And uh, y'all stay tuned, mygoldenarm.com. Uh, go on the website, support, get you some merch, christanner.com. Stay tuned, everything's gonna be updated. See y'all around. I got to figure out where this well lab is at and get back to uh, this test. See y'all. Here's another quick pointer. Whenever you're getting ready to do your stick welding, before you start your test, make sure you run a bead and uh, make sure that uh, that slag does what it's supposed to do. Ideally, this is what you want your slag to do as you make your pass. So, therefore, when you get on your test, you don't want to blow a hole through. It's not too hot. It's running just like you want it to run. When your slag is coming up just like you should. You know, you're not getting any slag caught in anywhere because it's doing what it should do. And that's pop right off. That's like that. to come off just like that. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy as we continue on on this test. As you can see where I picked up and made that tie-in right there, you want your tie-ins to go as uniform as you can. That's a really good tie-in. As you can see, this is where I stopped at and this is where I tied in here. Don't worry about that. I'll grind that off. You want to always make sure that's gone before the QC come and check your final button. Yeah, now I'm going to work on that second pass and keep getting it on. Second pass, let's go ahead and knock that slag off. That's how you want that slag to fall off. Just like that. Just like that. It looks nice and uniform. Overlapping each other just like you should. And then you'll do your third pass and then continuing on. My third pass, covering up my root. Knock the slag off. Let's see how easy the slag come off. That's how you want it to fall off. Flag is done. And also come back with a wire wheel. This is how you want it. You get a better look at it from this angle. Nice and uniform overlap. Really good. As you go over to the top. This is how it is. You know, again, this was a uh, open butt test. All right, my first open butt, my first open butt test, okay? But I know how to stick well, I know how it should look. So I'm gonna put maybe one or two more full passes before I cap it, but yeah, this is it. Should go. That slag falling off real easy is how you want it to go. Remember that, that's key, that's key. And how do you do that? By maintaining a close arc and good heat. What heat am I running on? I'm running on 91 amps. I'm using a 332, 7018. And again, close arc, decent travel speed.
All right, that's the second pass leading me to my cap. I want that slag to fall off really good. Really easy. There you go. No beat. <clears throat> Just look at that tie in. And you can see that's why I tied in right here. Guys, if you're having trouble with the tie ins, this is what the tutorials are for. ChrisTanner.com. Check out the tutorials so you can know exactly what to do on your tie ins. And again, this is leading into my um, cat pass. So I got one more pass and then I'm going to go for the cap. But uh, yeah, you see how I do it. It's not really all about the um, shotgun pose, but when you practice, you want to practice freehand because everything is not going to be perfect in the field. You're going to be in some positions where you can't do that. That 30 on 6 pole, or that 30 30 pole, or whatever you use to shoot with. Sometimes you got to do it the only way it can be done. But uh, let me continue on. Alright, now I'm ready to cap. That was my final test right there. QC went ahead and took it down. You know, they don't really like you having cameras inside the booth, but uh, I went ahead and put it in the buggy, but that's it right there. That's the result. As you can see, all of these are uniform, flat. Just like you like it, you don't see no undercut. Hey, not bad for a pipe welder, right? <laughs> yeah, so the test went really good. Man, I tell you, it's such a, I mean, it's such an honor to be able to uh, just see the guys that's getting ready to retire. I mean, when I started, those guys that's retiring now, they were like in the late 40s, early 50s. It was the hard asses showing you how to really do it and, and just nail it in the field and be good at what you do. But uh, this QC that I'm testing with now, over here, Kings Mountain. Man, really good, really good guy, man. And uh, he's 65 now, and he's thinking about hanging it up. Yeah, it just make you feel like, you know, when you hear these old guys talk, you get a sense of they're getting ready to leave, and they they're gonna take a little bit of you with them. You know, how you um, let's see how I can put it in words. Like you've been with somebody for so long, or shared the space with somebody for so long, and then when they, when they get fired for some reason or drag up for some reason or get transferred to another project, you, you, you be kind of down like, dang, man, why did he have to leave? <laughs> That's how I feel a little bit. Ah, maybe that wasn't a good job of trying to express what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, man, um, share some space with these older guys, man, and just, just be humble and hear what they have to say and, and just pick their brains. I mean, I'm telling you, it's gonna it's gonna benefit you well and give you uh, an advantage because a lot of these older guys, once they realize you're humble and you're really trying to learn and you're good at what you do and they want to add to add to your success, they start telling you the secrets because it is secrets on how to do everything. Or maybe maybe I shouldn't say secrets, but easier techniques, cheats, if you will. So heading on out.